Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a 12 hour wear test of this new L'Oreal Bambi Eyes Mascara. So this Bambi Eye Mascara of course promises a voluminized elongated lash doe eye effect and they say it has a wide eye brush to fit your eye shape and coat every lash. That is what the brush looks like. L'Oreal is based out of New York. This contains 8.5 milliliters of product and it retails for about, I'd say like 13 to 15 Canadian dollars, depending on if you can find it on sale or not. This is the color Black is Black and I think they also have a brown black color as well. But of course I always go for black. So let's go ahead and throw it on and give it a full 12 hours. I like the brush, but it is a big brush. I would prefer something a little bit smaller as I do not have massive eyes. There is one eye with and one eye without the mascara. It has a pretty nice effect. Um, I do think it lengthens. It's not super voluminizing, but it is quite black and nicely matted black. I think it's a little kind of underwhelming, but in a way that I really like. It does a nice job of spreading out your lashes pretty evenly. Let's try the other eye. And there is the other eye. Definitely a better eye. Nothing clumpy. They, for some reason, they're really like adamant about how non-clumpy it is. They say 90% agree that it doesn't clump upon application, which I don't think is like a massive problem with a lot of mascaras, but there you go. And I will say, although sometimes it comes goes on a little bit clumpy, it does brush out really clump free, as you can see on this eye. Um, if you go back in for a second coat, you'll notice your lashes are very, very hard. I like the way it dries super hard, kind of freezes your lashes as they are. But yeah, there we go. There is application. I actually really like the effect. I think it really goes well with what I look for in a mascara. I love that long, not too voluminous, really fanned out look. And I think this gives it to me way better than Lash Paradise. So now let's see what it looks like in natural light. And then I'll take you along for the next 12 hours and check in at the end of the night. Here we go. All right, it is the end of the night and let's take a look at this mascara. So from far away, it looks great. If you look up close, there are just a few tiny, tiny little specks of mascara that have kind of fallen under my eye, but pretty in insignificant overall. And overall, I think it wore really well. My lashes still look incredibly long. They look just as feathered as they did this morning, I feel like they're still very black and matte looking. So overall, I really, really like this mascara a lot. I don't think it's quite as good as the, which is it that I usually like, the Voluminous Millionaire or something, the Voluminous, the one in the gold tube. Just because I feel like maybe that lasts a tiny bit better and the brush is maybe a tiny bit smaller because this brush is so big. Sometimes I honestly do like dab myself in the eye. I just wish it was a little bit more petite to get around to all the areas of my eye without like jabbing myself in the face. Overall, I've really enjoyed wearing it. I find if I gently cleanse my eyes at night, the next morning there might be a little bit of black specks again on my cheeks, but you know, a quick face wash solves that. And I tend to be pretty gentle around my eyes, so I'm not 100% committed to getting like every piece of makeup off, but it doesn't get like goopy the next day like some other mascaras that I've been testing out do. So I like that a lot as well. I think it's partly because your lashes get a little bit crusty while wearing this mascara, which honestly I don't mind and I prefer that to like goopier mascaras. Would I repurchase it? 
Yeah, I would. And would I recommend it? Yeah, I would. So overall, that is a look at the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. Let me know if you've tried it. Just leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. Good to get back to the drugstore. I feel like I've been kind of neglecting um, drugstores. So yeah, let me know what you think about this mascara. Are there any other drugstore mascaras that have caught your eye lately? Um, I've got one other... Uh, I've actually got one other drugstore mascara to try out next, so look forward to that. Make sure you hit subscribe so you catch all my videos. I create beauty videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you subscribe. Aside from that, a huge shout out to everybody for watching today's video, especially to my patrons who help make these videos possible, and of course to you for watching, commenting, sharing, and I will see you all in my next beauty video. Bye.